Okay, tonight we're going to do a little bit more PowerShell. There's a shock. And uh, I'm actually going to show you how to get around something, a problem that we've had in uh, uh, batch files for a long time. And VBS too, I suppose. The, the problem comes with when you, when you want to run something from the command line, um, it, it runs really fast and then it disappears. The window shuts down. And if you've got errors or if you want to see something on the screen, you always have to go to DOS yourself and then start it and then navigate to the folder and then, uh, um, and then run it from there. And it's not a huge deal, but it is kind of a pain. So what I'm going to do tonight is show you how to call a PowerShell script from anywhere and, uh, and force it to stay open afterwards so you can look at the screen and see what happened. That way you can shoot messages up to yourself and inspect things that happen. You can look at errors. And if it's something that's sensitive and can only be run once, you don't have to worry about fixing something in the background and then going and starting it from the command line and looking at the errors, right? So here you're going to be able to look at the errors right away. Um, so here, I'll, I'll show you the problem real quick. Let's do this. Let's just start up a new text file. And let's just call it um, service.txt. And in this text file, I'm just going to do a simple get service. I'm going to change this to PS1. There we go. Yes. Now, I'm not going to really explain what get service means. I've done a video on that already. So, you know, feel free to go back and look that up. Um, right now, I'm just going to assume that you've seen it. So, if I were to come here... And actually, you can't you can't really see that from here. Let me let me do command. Let me do it that way because you can't really see it from the run command. Now, if I were to say PowerShell backslash okay, you get uh, you get all of your services listed, right? So in PowerShell, all I did was I, or from DOS, all I did was I called PowerShell, and then I ran this. But you see, this window is interactive, okay? And what happens if I do it from the run command? Now, you can't see this because it's out of screen, and sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Um, but uh, I'm typing PowerShell serve. I'm typing the exact same thing that was in there before, and you can... You can kind of see that right here. And I got a I got an error because I called the script wrong, but I didn't get to see what the error was because it went away. Right? So let's do this again. So now I'm typing that's what I'm typing right there in the run command. I'm typing the path. And you can see I get my list of services, but then it goes away. I can't actually see anything. So I kind of have to start at a DOS prompt in order to do anything. Well, there's a way around that. In PowerShell, you can call no exit and then call C colon backslash serve. And I get my uh, <clears throat> and I get my services and I also get the window state open. So I can I can call this from you know, jobs, I can call this from other things, and I can leave the thing on the screen. I can call it, you know, impromptu, right? Um, and that's good stuff. So, you know, that's really all I had on this one. I wanted to show you this real quick because it's, it's you know, just a simple way for you to, for you to keep the screen open when you're running things. If you, because if you're like me, I happen to come down here to run and just type in a PowerShell, uh, just type in PowerShell and type in a, uh, um, a script that goes with it and, and invariably always just exits. So if you get used to it, here I'll show you one more time. So if you call it with dash no exit and then the uh, command name, or you could specify the command name by saying whack or dash command and then c colon backslash serve and you can see it, what I typed in the run box is right here. So that's exactly what I typed in the run box and I'm going to get the exact same thing. There we go. Whereas otherwise, one more time, if I just call it with serve, 
it'll bring it up, but it'll exit. So anyway, that's a nice little trick you can use. Anyway, good luck.